How's it going, fight fans? It's your boy, Joey G from Wrestling Headlines. We are back and we are joined today by a very special guest. He is the speedball of Impact Wrestling, a former X Division champion. We're speaking with speedball Mike Bailey. Mike, how you doing today, sir? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. Thank you for joining us. You know, last time we spoke, um, you were still exiled in Canada, and since then, now you have returned. You've become one of Impact Wrestling's top stars on the roster. Um, and as I mentioned at the top, you are a former X Division champion, one of the most prestigious titles in pro wrestling history. When you think, when you, Mike Bailey, think about the X Division title, uh, who do you think of, and do you think you lived up to the expectations of carrying on that lineage with your title reign? Hmm. Yes and no. I think that's a hard question. Uh, I, th I mean, I think of AJ Styles, I think of Chris Sabin, I think of Christopher Daniels, I think of Samoa Joe. Uh, it's an endless list of some of the world's best wrestlers, uh, past and present. But I am incredibly proud of my reign as an X Division champion. I had a, a record number of defenses in such a short time. But... I still feel like I have so much more to give. And I feel like my my story, my relationship with that X Division Championship is only barely beginning. Well, I thought you also had a great title reign. And I want to address something that you've said in previous interviews in the past, where you have this goal, this ambition, and it's very admirable. And I hope to see it happen under the Speedball's reign to be both the X Division Champion and the Impact World Champion at the same time. Uh, Good luck on that journey. My question is this. Uh, did you, Mike Bailey, ever see yourself pursuing the tag team titles in Impact Wrestling? And if you did, hypothetically, is there someone on the roster that you would like to team up with? Well, so here's the thing. I, I did, but I didn't have a partner for the very longest time in Impact Wrestling. Uh, but, in fact, uh, Jonathan Gresham and I have been quite successful as a tag team. We have an upcoming match against the design. And if that goes our way, I would strongly consider uh, going after the tag team titles with him. I mean, I think ABC are a great tag team. I think they're doing fantastic. I think they're absolutely world class. I think they are excellent champions, but I think we'd have a shot. I think you guys would have a shot too. You know, watching the Speedball and the Octopus team up, one bringing this technical prowess and the other bringing this hard hitting uh, karate background uh, combination has been a lot, a lot of fun to watch. And I know a lot of the fans, uh, including myself of Impact Wrestling, are looking forward to seeing uh, your guys' matchup against the design. Um, speaking of matchups, you know, Impact is getting ready for Multiverse United 2, their uh, co-joined show with New Japan Pro Wrestling. Uh, at Multiverse United 1, you got to have an epic showdown with the great Hiroshi Tanahashi. What were your thoughts on getting to work with the ace? Oh, man. Uh, he's the ace. Like, the ace is the ace. <laughs> that sounds <laughs> simplistic, but... It's also a great answer. <laughs> absolutely mind-blowing how that man is the ace and he never ceases to be like, I feel like he, no matter what he does, he is always posture is excellent. He, you will never catch him like, you know, scratching his ear, doing something like slightly disgraceful. He is the ace and it never ceases to be. And that is, so incredibly impressive. It's very, very hard to explain. Uh, but being in the ring with him is even more impressive than watching him and just how perfect every single movement he does is, is truly, truly life-changing. Mm. Would you say that after having been in the ring with him, because it was a great matchup, but I want to give you your flowers too, because I know a lot of people always give Tanahashi his, but uh, you gave the ace a great showdown and watching your guys' style clash uh, made for some really, really exciting pro wrestling. Um, coming out of that match, do you feel like if you guys were to meet again, uh, you might be able to uh, get the win back on him? I think so. I think I was very close the first time. And I think wrestling him gave me a very, very good preview of the uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling style. And I've since gone on to participate in the Best of the Super Juniors tournament. 
uh, the most prestigious junior heavyweight tournament in all of pro wrestling. Uh, and I learned a ton over there as well, had some fantastic matches. And I think using the tools that I developed during that tournament, I could beat Hiroshi Tanahashi. I 100% believe so too. Also, great job in the Best of the Super Juniors this year. That was won by Master Wado, but you certainly advanced and did very well. Hopefully, we get to see you in the uh, BOSJ uh, again. Um, shifting gears here a little bit, uh, you know, the great D'Lo Brown also recently did an interview talking about Impact Wrestling. And he talked about the next logical phase for Impact being a return to live television. I know you guys are on the taping model right now. Um, is that something that you yourself as a performer would be interested in, or do you see sort of the benefit of being able to uh, have things taped and uh, work out the programs in a sort of a longer fashion? Uh, to be perfectly honest, I don't know. Uh, okay. I, I will not question D'Lo Brown, given that he has many, many more years of uh, experience with televised professional wrestling than I do. Right. I've been around professional wrestling for a very, very long time, uh, but my area of expertise is not not the the very specific form of wrestling, which is televised wrestling. I know how mm. to do it. I know mm. how to perform in the ring for it, but I don't know many of the logistics behind it. Mm. What I'm much better equipped to to give my my stance on is uh, Internet content, which is something that I am way more focused on. And I believe is. Truly the future for professional wrestling. Uh, I'm I'm very active on Twitch and YouTube and things like that. And I think that Impact Wrestling is doing a fantastic job uh, with YouTube and many, many other... Like, I think Diary. Have you watched uh, the episodes of Diary that are I've on seen, Impact Wrestling? I've seen, some, I've seen some of them, yes. I have, uh, I'm not fully caught up, but I, have, I am aware of Impact Diaries. It's a great program. It's fantastic mini documentaries that give you a, a, a like inside track into the lives of many of the wrestlers on, on Impact. I think the the Bupinder episode, the Trey Miguel episode, the Giselle Shaw episodes are all absolutely amazing. And I think that uh, Impact one of the ways that Impact Wrestling has really set itself apart from other professional wrestling companies is in the amount and the quality of content that they put out for free on the internet for people to watch. And uh, while I think wrestling live on TV would be absolutely great, I can't say for sure <laughs> that that is uh, that is what impact needs right now. Yeah, understandable. I appreciate your answer, and I agree with you regarding the uh, you know uh, online creative content. And that leads me to my final question. You know, uh, like I said last time we spoke a couple of years ago, we talked a lot about your Twitch channel, a lot about the games that you were playing. You know, we got this upcoming uh, AEW video game on release. WWE uh, just released 2K23. How does Mike Bailey? Or what would Mike Bailey's ideal Impact Wrestling video game look like? And just to pat yourself on the back, what rating would Mike Bailey have in this uh, hypothetical Impact Wrestling video game? So, so this is what I want for a wrestling video game, right? I don't want. I think I think Impact has done a great job setting itself apart and being different. And I think uh, the world of professional wrestling is immersive, right? It goes beyond the matches and just the sports. And I think. Uh, everyone enjoys storyline mode, but I think there is a certain way to that we could push that way further. I mean, I think you know, uh, an impact, a great impact wrestling video game would be kind of the the t wrestling two K games meets Skyrim, and mm, I think we okay. could have a, a a juicy middle section of that. Oh, I, uh, I'm not going to lie. I got shivers down my <laughs> spine as if you would just hit me with a top row plancha uh, thinking about that type of video game. That sounds like an exciting combination. Hopefully uh, someone out there, uh, video game creators, content makers, please make that game so Mike Bailey can stream it on Twitch and we can all enjoy it. Uh, Speedball, you've been fantastic as always. Best of luck to you. Please, uh, uh, to our listeners at Wrestling Headlines, can you plug your Twitch channel and any socials you would like for them to follow you on? Yeah, I'm... Uh... At Speedball Bailey on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, twitch.tv slash Speedball Bailey for the, uh, yeah, for the Twitch, uh, Speedball Mike Bailey on YouTube, vlogs, behind the scenes stuff, and all that. Uh, but the most important thing you can do if you would like to support me 
is go watch Impact, go on YouTube, find some Speedball Mike Bailey matches that are out there for free. I have an excellent one with Chris Sabin that was put out just a few weeks ago. Go watch it, and if you like it, comment it, share it, show it to all of your friends who might not be aware of Speedball Mike Bailey and or Impact Wrestling. Please uh, watch that match. I'm going to personally throw out uh, Mike Bailey versus Josh Alexander, that epic, excellent Iron Man match that the two of you had. Uh, Impact Wrestling is the promotion to follow. Mike Bailey is the guy to follow there. We will watch him on his pursuit to become dual X Division, Impact World Champion, Digital Media Champion, Knockouts Champion. He's going to hold all the titles. All of it. All of them. Mike Bailey, thank you so very much for your time today, bud. Thank you for having me.